What is going on, everyone? Thanks again for coming back for another video. Thank you to everyone who watched the first video. Like I said, I will continue to put these out. And the purpose of, of these videos is to hopefully help and to reach someone who could be going through something similar, has gone through it, or is just going through a tough time and they just need someone or something that they can relate to or connect with. So hopefully I'm able to do that for you guys uh, while I put these videos out. Uh, something I wanted to talk about today on this one, it, and it's definitely been uh, something that I've been battling with through this whole process is denial. Um, it's already been like a week since my mother's passing and I'm still, I still wake up some days like, oh, let me go call my mom. I haven't spoken to her today. You know, I haven't spoken to her in a couple of days. And then it like, it, it immediately hits me, you know, that she's no longer here because I've always had uh, an awesome relationship with my mother that I would always reach out to her before the day is over, during the day, you know, wherever I was, whatever was going on, even if it was out the country, you know, this and that, you know, out of state, I would always just reach out and just say, just check in on her, make sure she's good. You know, if I need, if she needed anything, I could just like, you know, Amazon Prime it, you know, over to her. But that's just kind of like the relationship we had. It was, so it's always a thing that no matter what's going on, at some point of the day, we would just have some sort of communication. And now that you know she's passed, you know, I wake up in the morning. It's like I haven't talked to my mother in a while. Let me go, and then I immediately catch myself. And I know that's because in the beginning, you know, when I knew the day was going to come, I like I said before another video, I never, I still thought, no, nah, she's gonna pull through. I always had this belief, this strong belief, she's gonna pull through, she's gonna pull through. Even when I spoke to everyone and they told me, look, it's down to days. I was just like, nah, I, I hear what you guys are talking about, but she's gonna pull through, she's gonna pull through. Even when I witnessed her, her cold uh, body, and I'm just like, okay, she's gonna snap out of it. Um, when it came, when the nurse came to do the pronounce her dead and all of that, I was just like, she, she's about to just wake up and, and surprise all of us. And just in my head, I was just, it was just always like, not her, it can't be her, it can't be. Nope, this isn't it, this isn't even real. You know, I was like, I'm about to wake up. You know, I just could not accept the fact that this is happening right now. You know, even on the phone, I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't accept it. I didn't want to accept it. I did not want to accept the fact that, you know, a superhero, someone I considered a superhero was leaving, you know, the, that something beat her because I've seen her beat everything. I've seen her accomplish so many things. I've seen her just do the unthinkable. And when I'm hearing people, you know, doctors and specialists saying she only has X amount of hours uh, to live or, hey, it's, it's no more than a week. It's just like, nah, you're talking, you don't know her. And that was something that made the process of grievance worse for me because I started to question so many things while in denial. You know, that, that was something that I had to really start working on, accepting the fact that this is, this is happening. And I have to now grieve to the fact that, no, she is no longer here. And that is something I'm still battling and I'm still working on. And it's still excruciating. Like I said, it's been a week and I woke up, it's like, for a split second, once again, I was like, I haven't heard from my mother in a while. Like, I'm still having those kind of thoughts. Or just out of force of habit, I would just reach for the phone and just go ahead and try to call. And I had to catch myself. And I was doing that a lot today, which made me want to put out this video. Like, denial is something that you're going to go through. And it's going to be... I don't know when it's going to end because I'm still going through it and it's still a week and I'm still battling it. You know, it's been a week to this day that I'm making this video and I'm still like, 
no, like, she, no, it can't be. And I'm working on trying to get past that because I need to grieve and accept the fact that she's no longer here. I haven't accepted it. And I don't know when I'm going to just accept the fact that no more birthdays and Merry Christmas and Happy Mother's Day and Happy Birthdays, I won't be saying those things to her anymore. And I'm trying to get over that part. And that was something that's been really excruciating and I was kind of battling it today. And I felt just like this overwhelming feeling that you know, it's already been a week and it seemed like it's a week. It's been a week, but it seemed like it was just like yesterday. But then in a weird way, it's been a week and so much things have happened within that week that it feels long. It's just this weird, weird, weird battle that I'm dealing with and going through. And these are the kind of battles that I go through. It's like these back and forth battles with so many different emotions and feelings and thoughts that you have to. And why I'm doing these videos, because all these things are getting bottled up inside. I know other people are having those same thoughts and you have to just be careful and not to let those thoughts consume you and you explode or you lash out in a way that's that's negative, you know, or you lash out, you know, with other people to other people that are close to you and that care about you. You have to be careful about that because I'm dealing with it because I just still can't grasp the idea that this woman who is such an awesome person was taken away in that kind of way. And like I said, I saw the whole process um, from beginning to end. You know, I was truly there to witness the final breath and I still couldn't, you know, even seeing it and being there and being present, I still could not accept it. So this is something that you're going to go through, I'm going through, and I'm working on it. I'm working on quite a few different things to get over it. I'm, I'm working on just trying to get back in the groove of, I won't use the word normal because I'll never be normal again, but just trying to create my habits, you know, just still staying active, you know, still making sure I have to be productive and carry on what I'm trying to do and carry on her name and her legacy because I know she would want that also. So that's another thing. You know, I remember one time I went to go visit her and she, you know, she told me this was like years ago. She was like, oh, you're looking a little fat. And I was just like, oh, OK, let me let me make sure I, I still get back in this gym, because even if mom is saying I'm looking a little fat, OK, I got to make sure I'm on point. And I know she would still want me to be training and staying consistent and, and pursuing, you know, the dreams and aspirations that I've been working on. So, you know, I still have to make sure I do that. So it's just a lot of these things today as, as a, a week has passed. But this, too, will pass. But I know there's going to be many more of these days and many more roller coasters ahead of us, ahead of me. So I just have to make sure I'm prepared. And you guys are prepared out there as well. So we'll be back with another video. Thanks, thank you again for watching. And if you know someone who, who they may need to see this video, I don't know. You may be watching it and you may know someone who's going through it. You know, share it. Let, just let the person know they're not alone. That's another thing. You know, put, put your arms around this people who are going through something. You don't know how much that means to that person just having that arm around them to know, hey, you got a support group. It means the world, trust me. So thank you again for watching. I'll be back with another one. Live life.